In this video, we're looking at a resistor network, and we're told that this network is just a branch of a larger circuit. And what's known in this case is that we have 1.28 amps flowing through this particular branch. So we're going to simplify this thing down to one equivalent resistance and then answer a variety of questions about what's going on inside this branch. To begin the simplification, we notice that we have a parallel combination of 10 ohm resistors in that upper portion of the branch. And those combine according to the parallel combination rule. One over the equivalent resistance is the sum of the reciprocals of the two resistances. And that equivalent resistance comes out to five ohms. And then we redraw the circuit. Now we're looking at two different series combinations and resistors in series simply add. So the equivalent resistance for the upper branch of this is 13 ohms, that's just eight plus five. In the lower branch, it's 15 ohms. And finally, we're looking at a parallel combination of a 13 ohm resistor and a 15 ohm resistor. So we take one over 13 plus one over 15 and take the reciprocal of the result. This gives us an equivalent resistance of 6.96 ohms. Now, when we redraw this branch, we have a single 6.96 ohm resistor with 1.28 amps flowing through it. So this answers part A, the total equivalent resistance is 6.96 ohms. Then in part B, we want to get the potential difference from node A in this original circuit to node B. Well, that's the potential difference across this entire resistor network that we simplified down to the single 6.96 ohm resistor. We have the current flowing through this equivalent resistance, and that's 1.28 amps. And we have, of course, the equivalent resistance itself. And if you have the current and the resistance, you can figure out the potential difference across it with Ohm's law. So we just write down V equals IR. My current is 1.28 amps. My resistance is 6.96 ohms. And I get a potential difference of 8.91 volts. Now that we know the potential difference across this branch, we can answer part C. We want the current through the five ohm resistor. That's the one that was originally on the lower left. Well, we know the potential difference across that branch is 8.91 volts. And we know the total resistance of that lower branch was 15 ohms. This allows us to get the current through that branch and therefore the current through the five ohm resistor itself. So I is going to be V over R and we have an 8.91 volt potential difference over a resistance for that lower branch of 15 ohms. This gives us 0.594 amps flowing through that lower part of the network and flowing through the five ohm resistor. Finally, in part D, we want to get the current through the eight ohm resistor. That was part of the upper branch of our original network. And if I look through my circuit simplification, the total equivalent resistance of that upper branch was 13 ohms. And I know the potential difference across it was again, 8.91 volts. So we can figure out the current flowing through that upper branch. And I get 0 0.685 amps, just keeping three sig figs. And that's not the only way to answer part D. An alternative here would be to say, well, I had 1.28 amps total flowing into this network. And in part C, I discovered that 0.594 of those amps flow through the lower branch. So the rest of it must be flowing through the upper branch. So I can calculate the answer for part D by just taking my original 1.28 amps and subtracting the amount that went along the lower branch. And I should get the same answer. And when I run the numbers on this, I get 0.686 amps. And I can see that I have a little bit of rounding error in there, but I've got essentially the same answer. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.